Another, another very different story this morning is, is the ongoing saga of what happened to uh, this book uh, that is going to come out soon about uh, what happened on the Osama bin Laden raid. The Pentagon is now saying what? The Pentagon's chief counsel has sent a letter to the Navy SEAL uh, who calls himself Mark Owen, who is the author of that book, saying you signed two non-disclosure agreements that you would never divulge classified information. One on this date, one on that date, one to the Department of Defense, one to the CIA, and now you have gone and written this book. It was not submitted for clearance, and they say you could be subject to criminal prosecution. Do you think that they will prosecute him, or is this more a shot across the bow? I think it's very doubtful they would prosecute him. He has five bronze, one silver star, five bronze stars, 12 deployments. Um, that's going to be a real problem to take him into court and call him a criminal after he put bullets in Osama bin Laden, which makes him pretty popular around here. But I think it might be more than yeah. a shot across the bow. There's a line in that letter that says, by signing those agreements, you have assigned to the U.S. government all royalties, remunerations, and emoluments, that means money, mm -hmm. from disclosure, publication, or revelation of classified information. So what they're hinting is that he may not face criminal charges. They might go after the money from the book. Can I just say, too, I also think there's a political element to this because the Obama administration is under fire from Republicans. They're accusing them of leaking classified information. Here you have a former Navy SEAL who's divulging classified information, and so the administration has to look tough, don't you think? Well, they, they do, but I think as you have put your thumb on the wound here, this is the intersection of a bunch of competing narratives. Mm -hmm. You've got the OPSEC people, this private group right. that's got a couple of million dollars that's targeting the Obama administration saying, you're doing the leaks. Yeah. Yep. They've now turned around and said they think this book should be shut down. So you've got, yeah. you've got a collision and, and of political themes here. That is so here. interesting. I didn't know that. That yeah. is so interesting. But you also have him in the Scott Pelley interview that's going to be up on 60 Minutes saying, look, I don't, I don't either of these sides, I had nothing to do with either of these two sides in terms of my own motivation. I wanted to tell the story of some heroic people. That's right. And I mean, I think it's going to be very interesting to watch when he said it was about setting the record straight. Now we'll find out if it was about the money, if the government really targets that. So it's a bit of a showdown. But I wouldn't be surprised yes. if nothing happens. Yes. All right, John Miller, thanks. I think we're going to be talking a lot more about this. And as a reminder to everybody, you can see Scott Pelley's interview with the author of No Easy Day. That is on 60 Minutes next Sunday night here on CBS.